And where you were just saying yeah. um, brought up some questions in my mind, and um, I'm just going to go with the one that came first. <laughs> um, would you, the way that you describe awakening makes me uh, think of it as more of a process than a point. Um, would you say that awakening is more of a process that you go through rather than something that you end up finding? Yes, process. It's a process and these things that we refer to as awakening are just these like spurts where it shows in the body. Like there's many processes going on in our body beneath the surface and then it'll manifest as a zit or something on the surface. Mm. You know, it has a way of showing. So these peak experiences are just where it bubbles up and then something bursts out in the surface. But there, there's, it's unusual that it's, it's absolute. These are still usually, even in great awakening experiences, I mean, where they can be, you know, like out for like 30 days, like, you know, and coming out, there's always, it's, it's, it's still a, a, there's still stages and levels of the journey. Again, this, this kind of awakening we say is like the beginning really. And then the, and then the, <clears throat> we should say the one, the awakened ones have different charges as well. It's not that everyone has the same responsibilities as well. Some don't have responsibilities. Some have certain teaching responsibilities. Some have looking after certain areas on the planet or looking after the different uh, elementals or different there's all kinds of roles and is, and ways that things are working together and not working together as well we have the devas and the asuras we have the ones who are using the left path and the right path I mean there's a there's a oh after the awakening a realization there's so many different patterns and paradigms of, of then being in the world. Uh, you say after the realization, after the awakening, what, what is this uh, realization that you can have something after? Is there, is there some specific thing or is it, is it like you were, I'm kind of trying to get the, to the idea of, here, I'm trying, I'll try to explain my question better. Mm. Um, there's uh, this concept in, you know, society about awakening that it's kind of seen like a binary thing. You're either awakened or you're not awakened. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, there's people, when people see, oh, talk about Eckhart Tolle or something, oh, he's awakened, oh, he's not awakened. You know, you see that on the internet and stuff like that, and you're like, hmm, you know? And, and then I, I, uh, <clears throat> I remember I used to think about that, and I used to think, Am I learning from the right person? Is this person mm -hmm. really awakened, mm -hmm. not really awakened? Mm -hmm. um, and uh, as I've gone through, you know, my own spiritual journeys and path, and uh, I've, I've come to wonder if there is a point that you could say this is awakened and this is not awakened. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, for me, I'm kind of starting to see it more as uh, a process, you know, like you were kind of saying, uh, awakening is you're waking up into this. Um, at least that's how I see it. But uh, I guess my question is really, um, uh, is there is there a point that you can say, okay, this is awakened or this is realized, mm -hmm. this is somebody that can be a teacher or something like that, versus um, versus just seeing awakening as something that's a process that maybe we all go through. So I think it has to be clear that uh, it's not an ego or an individual that becomes awakened. It's not Joel Altman or Eckhart Tolle or John Schmidt who wasn't awakened and then now becomes awakened. The, awakened. the awakening is when the individual is no longer. When Eckhart Tolle disappears, then this state is the realization. Then it is, there's, so it's a, so we can never say like this person is awakened now or not awakened now because it's not a person it's not a state of a person the state of a person is a state of uh, being conditioned and limited and trapped in the past and the samskars and all of this so if we understand it this way then we can say it has to do with more or less how much they're identified and attached to the personality and to what capacity they're able to uh, 
to let go of the attachment and identification with the body and mind and to rest back into the self. Because from the point of view of awakening, again, these are applying dualistic ways of thinking to the awakening, which is non-dualistic. So either it's awakened or not awakened. But from this point of view of dissolving the drop back into the ocean, then it's all ocean. There's not, I mean, of course we can see the many drops, but there's never any illusion of separation of the drops from the wholeness. So in this way, <clears throat> then the awakening has happened. I mean, really, everyone has realized, like they say, everyone is a Buddha, but just remembering it. So if we say instead of awakening or finding something or discovering is, and, just, and remembering, like we're wearing the necklace and we've been looking for it and then, oh, I'm wearing it. Mm -hmm. like, so it's important that we work with all the different metaphors because it's just going to help to clarify the different stages that will arise as we're actually living it, living it, but it would seem that yeah, from this perspective, where we're saying that the awakening is is to the capacity that we're no longer identified with our limited limited self, and it's not that the limited self becomes the big self. The big self is and always has been. The self is the self. The limited self also remains as it is. So it's. <clears throat> A question of shifting our identification or our attention or our focus from the limited self to the self. It's a re-centering, recalibration. Huh. So the percentage to which that's been done or something, or the degree to which one is manifesting in that, then we can say that they're um, self-realized. Even that one has tasted it a few times I mean there's already then it's coming through it's always coming through even in the unconscious state even in the unconscious even humans who are handicapped or mentally disabled then the self is the source with from which all impulses are coming anyway but are filtered according to the limitations of the samskaras and conditioning and all of this so so the idea of realization of the self from that perspective, from the perspective of non-dualism is absurd. Then there's no question of time or after realization or realization or individual realization or different realization or any of that. So only we can talk about that from the point of view of duality. Okay, I, I had a question. I forgot what it was uh, over the course of yeah. the time. Yeah. That you were uh, talking <clears throat> yeah, you about that. Notepad or something. Yeah, I wait, let me turn this off for a second and then I will.